brief overview of the cheese, spicy, salty popcorn line the Dao de Robopop. The line consists of various elements – conveyors, hopper, slurry station, coating drum and the control box. After delivery and unboxing, popcorn line requires general assembly. All parts of the line have stickers with numbers, which simplifies assembly process. Let's start with the conveyor. First, you need to attach legs to it. Each support leg has a number – 1, 2 and 3. The horizontal and the inclined parts of the conveyor are supplied separately. They need to be bolted all together. Now you see the place where the inclined and the horizontal parts of the conveyor are connected. After assembly of the conveyor, a stainless steel protective cover is installed on the inclined part. The cover consists of the four parts, each of which has a number from 1 to 4. All wires are hidden in the metal sleeves. They are connected to each other in a junction boxes. At the very top of the conveyor is an electric motor. It runs the conveyor belt. The belt tension is carried out from the opposite end of the conveyor. The high-level and low-level sensors are installed on the hopper, but the connectors with the wires are disconnected. Connect them when assembling. Do not mix them up. The wire go into the metal holes in the junction boxes. Each box also has its own number. Under the hopper is a vibrating tray with a motor. The wires from it go to the junction box and then connect to the wires from the sensors, high level, low level, inside the metal sleeve. Then the hopper's wires are connected to the wires of the coating drum and goes to the slurry station. This is the coating drum. You see the controls on the side surface. Like all our elements, it has two control lines. You can control it from the central touchscreen, the main line, or you can manually control the backup with the buttons on the side surface. This is a slurry station. It consists of two elements, oil tanks and a control box. The wire comes to the junction box on oil tanks. Then the secondary line go to the control box of the oil station and the main line where are wires from all our elements goes to the central control box with the main touch screen. Slurry station control box on the right, central control box with the main touch screen on the left. Hopper for intermediate accumulation of popcorn also has a backup control line. It can be controlled from the central touchscreen or manually from the block located on the side. A vibrating tray from the hopper inserted into the coating drum as well as a tube from the slurry station. Each wire inside the control boxes has a marking sticker. The entire model can be purchased separately. If you already have a Robocop Vortex popcorn machine, you can use your hot air popper. That means you can start with the simplest Robocop and then you can easily build a popcorn factory for your needs adding Robo factory models such as cheese, spicy, salty model. For more information in the United States, go to the robolabsusa.com.